G'day and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at a game called Usurper. This is just in the demo phase with the full release slated for September 2024. And what this is, is basically a roguelike deck builder cross chess. It's turn based. You basically have your king. Your deck makes up the other pieces that you can spawn to support your king. And it's basically, as in chess, you want to protect your king and capture the enemy king. So I've just done the quick tutorial, but I haven't actually had a game yet, so let's jump in and see how this plays. Defeat opponents of increasing difficulty. After each victory, improve your deck by adding and removing cards. You try to win 10 rounds, but if you lose once, you're out. Interesting. So, you know, I'm a simple person. I see roguelike deck builder. I, I'm interested when you introduce chess, things like that. Um, was it shotgun chess? You know, things that make use of these rules of games and, and twist them around to make them interesting, I'm always a big fan of. So, when I heard of this one, I was uh, quite keen to give it a try. Click any of these to select a deck. Okay, well, this one is the only one that's unlocked. Pawns do not promote at the end of the board. Knights can jump over other units. Coordinate attacks with bishops, rooks and queens. Okay, we'll start with the base difficulty just until I get my head around things. And we'll start. Okay. Oh, okay, so we start with nothing on the board. Everything just becomes a card that we draw. Okay, so we have power here. Each card takes a certain amount of power to spawn. And down here are the reserves, meaning we've got two bishops, two rooks, and three pawns in the deck. And when we run out of reserves, that card is removed from the deck. So, I could spend all my power and get a rook straight up. That will put the pressure on big time. But then I have no power left. But, I mean, let's just try, see what happens. Rook is down. I'm going to move my king this way. Ooh, a queen. It costs four. Uh, I'm going to skip. Save my power. I'm going to move up. I don't know what my strategy is here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to skip again. Oh, I can only move one unit per turn, maybe. I'm going to put a knight here. He's in check, or I can take that out. So, I'm going to move the rook there. That's fine. I could put a bishop down as well. No, I can't actually because that'll block the rook. I'm going to skip again. I'm going to take this. Ah, oh, you cheeky little bugger. Okay. I suppose I could... Um... I'm going to skip again. You can take that. Okay, now we need to... Think this through a little bit. I'll put a pawn here. He's in check. He has to move. I don't want to trade with this, because anything that attacks this will get eaten by the pawn. Eaten being the uh, official term used in chess circles. As we all know, these pieces eat each other. Uh, what can I do here? Put a bishop there. Maybe just a, maybe I'll just do the pawn. Put the pressure on him, get him away. 
but I can't use these to attack just yet. Um, this guy's kind of got my king pinned down. I'm going to move him away. Now I can put down a queen. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm going to skip. I'm going to put you here. No. Oh, my God. Okay, no, that's, that's okay. They didn't take the chance to destroy me. Um, Bishop. I'm going to do another pawn here. He can't attack on that turn. Uh, I need to move you away. No, if I go there, he can't get me. Okay, that's fine. Sacrifice a pawn for a knight, I think is a fair trade. down here maybe and then I can get you okay that's that's an alright trade I don't mind that so I don't think it needs to be said that I'm no uh, I'm no chess player <laughs> put you there Let me think. If I put him there, he's in check. If I attack this way, he can just attack that pawn. Put the bishop there. There, that'll protect this pawn, and he's protected. Don't do that. And I'm going to attack him. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm going to save up, I think. Could take that pawn out of the equation. I'm just going to pop this here. So, let's see. If I, I can't attack that, you need to move, basically. Um, put that there, move you out of the danger zone. What's going to happen? Okay, that's fine. Another bishop. No, I'm going to save and take out their bishop though. Rook would be good. What's in my deck? I can't really see that, can I? I don't think. I'll grab a Rook. Mm, put him down here. Could 
queen can go there. Skip that. Uh, I'm going to take this. King's in check. Might as well grab that bishop now. Oops. Oh, actually, no, I'll grab a pawn. You can take that quite easily, can't you? But that's okay, I won't... Uh... Maybe you can check there and there, so you have to move away. Okay. Got that there, I might even... Uh... No, he's... Uh... Actually, that might work. Fine with me. I think we've just sort of, uh, in, a, in a war of attrition, we've worn down his numbers. Has he just moved into check? He's given up. Okay, well, that was a bit clumsy. I honestly haven't played chess in a very long time, and uh, the whole concept of placing a piece and then moving a different piece is um, a bit tricky for me to get my head around. But an early win is an early win. In campaign mode, after each round, you will have a draft phase where you must either add a new card to your deck or remove a card from your deck. To remove a card, select it from your deck and click the remove button. What's a paladin? Princess. These are interesting. So he's like a mini knight, he can move diagonally and then across one. And the princess can move any direction except up and down. But it costs three. I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. I, I know in roguelike and deck builders, removing cards is a big part of it. However, I can't see the benefit of removing anything at this stage unless I'm swapping like a pawn out for one of these but I think I'll just pick that one next opponent what have we got here king regent uses elite kingdom units a plebeian So now we're going to get into the, the phase where all these pieces are going to be unique to the game or have special modifiers that changes the rules from chess. So that'll be a challenge to keep up with. Yeah, we'll just grab a pawn and move my king up. So a plebeian. So he can move one space forward or diagonal forward. Interesting. Um, I'll have to get a rook, I think. Can't say no to that. Another one. So he's technically protected. some pressure on a black bishop oh that's just the, the team color gotcha just a usual regular bishop there okay uh, what can I do I 
We want to save. So these guys are a bit of a pain. So they're just defending three squares in front. I guess I'll move the king up. Okay, that's a bit rude. He's going to place a pawn right in front of me. I do this. He's in check. Needs to move. Um, so this is in immediate danger. So this needs to move as well. Pop a pawn there. Gonna move you across there. One with me. I'm going to put another pawn here. And you're going to take that bishop. I'm going to skip there. I'm going to... Take that knight. Which I think is a fair trade. Um, you're safe at the moment. For the moment, I'm going to move you back one. Okay, now I'm in check. Now I'm in danger. What does the princess do again? Diagonals or side to side, but not up and down. I think I'm going to skip move you down here so this plebeian is going to kill my rook so I can at least get a trade off there oh he's not going to do it okay I'm going to put a little pressure on here with a queen what's your move buddy Oh, that's my move still, of course. Um, tch -tch -tch. I think I'd rather save the rook than try and trade it. Another one of these here. Hold on. My queen is protected there, but so if I move, uh, I'll skip that. Maybe I'll chuck a pawn there. Let me move my queen here. These guys can only attack in front. He can't hurt, and you're protected by this pawn. So you need to go away, and uh, I'll skip that as well because if I take this. I'm still protected and you have to move again. Interesting. But now if I move here, you can't take me because I'm protected again. Pop you there. Okay. Might as well grab a bishop out just to... add a bit more firepower. Um, but I'm just mopping up at this stage, so I'm pretty safe to take this one. Put that king in check again. He can't move down, he can't move here, he has to go up. Um, might do that as well. You take that, that's fine, because I'm going to... Oh, I'll skip this. I'm going to attack you there. Uh, 
Um, okay, may as well put the pressure on. Princess again was horizontal or diagonal. So that puts the king in check. He can't move down, he can't move here. He has to move here. So he's got to move. This is protected, this is protected. If I put him here, I think he's stuffed. I don't know. Clever. Put uh, him up there. Move you back one. And let's finish this, I think. I'll put you there. You can move, not move down. You can't move there. I think you're pretty much covered. Yep. Big brain moves here from the chess master. Interesting. It's, um, I find this a bit challenging trying to combine the new rules with the rules that you already sort of know and are familiar with. And when you're not an expert chess player to begin with, <laughs> comes uh, more challenges. After rounds two, five, and eight, before the draft phase, you can either add an elite unit card to your deck or upgrade a randomly selected card currently in your deck by reducing its power by one. The card in your deck is eligible, sorry, the card in your deck eligible for the upgrade is highlighted. Reducing its power by one. Oh, I see. So it can make the princess cheaper. Cavalier. That's confusing. Up, down, left, right. So it moves straight, then diagonal, I guess, by the look of that. Well, this princess can attack. No, what's that grey, blue, the highlight of up and down? Can move. What does this mean? Oh, it just means you can move one space up and down. That's fair enough. So I can promote or upgrade it, removing its, oh, sorry, reducing its cost. Or I can recruit this strange thing. I think a cheaper cost is going to be beneficial, whichever way you look at it. Now the draft. I can get another queen. I can get a paladin, which is diagonal and then horizontal. I think another queen might be good. I mean, it costs a bit to save up for it. What is this? Captain. Moves like a knight. No elite units. He's got 14 reserves. I think the last level had 10. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll start with a bishop just to have something down and then I'll start shuffling along. Cheap princess, so they're diagonals or horizontals. Oh, what am I doing? He can move like a knight. Why did I not remember that? <laughs> Instantly just failed miserably. Now I'm going to skip there. Now you're going to you're gonna screw me whichever way. Oh no, I suppose if I protect that you can't. So um, I don't want to block the princess. So I'm going to move this way. A 
another princess. I'll put it there. No. Um, actually, maybe. Because if I do this and then I do this, you can't do anything. I'm going to save up a little bit. I'm going to pressure that knight. I'm going to skip again. Should I, I can put more pressure on and put him in check? That's fine. I'm going to put a rook here and I'm going to move him up. You'll move. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to stick a pawn. Nowhere. Actually, I'm going to skip that. I'm going to... Oh, he's protected. Perfect. That's annoying. But if I take him, he can't hurt me back, right? And I'm still in this line, I can still pressure that. That's fine. I'm going to save, I think. I'm going to kill you. Where are you going to go? Up there, that's fine. You can't hurt me. Uh, I'm going to save for a queen. No one's in any immediate danger. Nope. I'm skipping, but you are cleaning up some of this riffraff. There's my queen. Now I'm in check. So... I think about this. You're not in any danger there. You're going to take this safely. You can move up safely. Yeah, I'm just going to pop it there. And the queen, sorry, the king is going to take that pawn. Okay. I'm going to go for my queen. But I can take out this pawn. Queen is still protected. That one's not, but that's quite all right. Uh, I'm going to skip. Here's what's going to happen. Queen's going to go here. He's in check. If he takes that, he's in check. If this moves, he's in check. That'll do. Skipping that one. Queen is going here. He's in check, he can't hurt me. And he's done. Another queen there for good measure. Alright. That was a bit more successful. No uh, major blunders in this one. <laughs> Throne claimed. Rules defeated, regents defeated, laws defeated, run victory and total. Okay, we're leveling up. We've just unlocked a new starting deck and units, more opponents, a new boss. Maximum round increased to six. Interesting. So as you progress, the games get longer as well. 
as well as giving you uh, access to new decks and cards. So, this one. Use your ruler offensively to place short range units. Silvers and golds push forward to make the enemy retreat. Push your opponent to the edge of the board to finish them off. Interesting, so you're not just capturing the units, these ones actually push them around. Which is uh, an interesting gameplay element to chess. You're actually pushing the enemy's pieces off the edge of the board. Which is interesting. But I'll uh, play with that one another time. I'm going to wrap it up here. So, interesting game. If you're interested in it and uh, want to check it out for yourself, I'll put a link to the Steam store in the description. The demo is out now. The full game comes out in September 2024. So keep an eye on that one and add it to your wish list if you're interested. And I uh, just want to thank you for tuning in and watching. So if you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when I cover new games and new videos drop. So thank you, and I will see you next time. Cheers.